I know we're getting a lot of neat questions about how do you balance the bow, and there are so many philosophies out there. What's helped me, it's Alexander Technique, which just basically says, I've got a lot of joints and I should use them the way my body's designed, and it'll feel better. I'm moving the string, I'm moving my body to move the string. Music moves my, me and my spirit and my imagination, so all these things come together in a movement context is what I like to teach. I hope that doesn't seem too crazily esoteric. But one of the best things you can do is sit on your two sit bones, make sure you have that feeling of equal distribution of weight, not that you can't move and do all those neat things that we do all day long. So yes, think about this all day long and it'll help your cello playing and vice versa. So my pinky side of the hand, the radius crosses over the ulna, that's the relationship I wanna use in both left and right. So when I put it on the bow, this ulna relationship, you know, and the radius being able to roll like this. I don't even worry about my thumb yet. It's a little too floopy, of course. And when I put my thumb on, that kind of takes away some of the floopy. If you can see what I like to do with my thumb, you can see it kind of roll around. It connects, the hand is just an extension and refinement of my forearm. And somebody the other day, their, their well-meaning child, and that's okay, said, Mom, you're moving your upper arm too much. This is a joint. It moves with a ball and socket motion. It moves all around. The first arm joint is the clavicle sternum joint. So I think kind of a Tai Chi-like movement quality of the bow is a really cool thing to have. One last thing. Violinist, I'm told, do this. Amit Pellet taught this to me. If this were the string, I can draw the sound up and out, roll along the top of the string, draw the sound up and out, and look at the motions in my hand. They're all like kind of curvy and fluid. Now, the bow can go back and forth, but that doesn't mean my arm has to be... That will happen if my hand is stiff. If my hand is not stiff, the whole arm and my whole sense of myself, which should stay alive and active as I play, because if I'm suddenly leaning like this, I'll get up a few minutes or hours later and be really hurt and keep that whole body presence awake and aware. Realize you can dip little sounds out like this. These scoopy things is a nice pedagogical idea, but you can also draw sounds up and out of the string. A string, D string, G string, C string. It will go perpendicular to the string, and I tend to do flat hair because it keeps things more fluid. The cellists that teach angled back tend to have stiffer hands. And stiffness always has a negative consequence. Stiff in my hand means stiff somewhere else in my body. I'm all for fluid. There. Yay. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs>